5 seconds to go start the submissions so raised and averments so made in this petition and the entire scenario created by filing of two successive petitions are really disturbing a lot the entire judicial system has been unnecessarily brought into disrepute for no good cause whatsoever there is an averment made in the writ petition that it is against the highest judicial functionaries that fir has been recorded we do not find reflection of any name of the judge of this court in the fir there is no question of registering any fir against any sitting judge of the high court or of this court as it is not permissible as per the law laid down by a constitution bench of five honorable judges of this court in the case of k veera swami versus union of india 1991 3 scc 655 wherein this court observed that in order to ensure the independence of the judiciary the apprehension that the executive being largest litigant it is likely to misuse the power to prosecute the judges any complaint against a judge and investigation by the cbi if given publicity will have a far reaching effect on the judge and the litigant public the need therefore is of judicious use of action taken under the act there cannot be registration of any fir against a high court judge or chief justice of the high court or the supreme court judge without the consultation of the honorable chief justice of india and in case there is an allegation against honorable chief justice of india the decision has to be taken by the honorable president in accordance with the procedure prescribed in the said decision there is no conflict of interest in such a matter in case judge is hearing a matter and if he comes to know that any party is unscrupulously trying to influence the decision making or indulging in mal practices it is incumbent upon the judge to take cognizance of such a matter under contempt of courts act and to deal with and punish such person in accordance with law as that is not the conflict of interest but the purpose for which the entire system exists such things can not be ignored and refusal of a judge can not be asked on the ground of conflict of interest it would be the saddest day for the judicial system of this country to ignore such aspects on the unfounded allegations and materials it was highly improper for the petitioner to allege conflict of interest in the petition filed that the honorable chief justice of india should not hear on judicial side or allocate the matter on the administrative side it appears that in order to achieve this end the particular request 
has been made by filing successive petitions day after the other and prayer was made to avoid the honorable chief justice of india to exercise the power for allocation of cases which was clearly an attempt at forum hunting and has to be deprecated in the strongest possible words stop